Hey everybody, welcome back to Allie's Voice. I'm Allison Love Beatty and it's 2008. Happy New Year. New Year, new rule. Um, I'm opening Allie's Voice up um, to everybody out there. People with diabetes, people who love people with diabetes, people who live with people with diabetes, doctors, anybody out there on the internet. Um, Allie's voice is um, really as much my blog as it is yours. It's a place to come and share information and experiences and to, I mean, I put my ideas out there for you guys to, you know, open the forum and discuss how you feel about it. Um, I'm going to try and make a New Year's resolution to do it more often this year because I, I love it when I get the feedback from anybody and everybody. But I, I just I want to drop one one caveat for everybody. The word cure is a very touchy subject for people with diabetes. And when you are trying to lodge a claim that is trumpeting a cure for something like diabetes, uh, you better understand that there are going to be a lot of people that are going to get teary-eyed and love it, or um, <laughs> you know, grow fangs and, and start clawing at you for, you know, how dare you make such an accusation. I would love to see um, all, you know, comments at least substantiated with some sort of um, study that you can refer to or claim because, um, you know, type 1 seems to always sort of be dismissed by doctors and researchers. Well, we don't know what causes type 1. I love that. Actually, I, I have my little um, database of reasons why uh, why I think I got it, and I'm pretty sure everybody else who has type 1 who's taken the time to analyze what had gone on in their life around that time may know as well. But uh, the fact remains that um, type 1, you get it, you still got it. If you got rid of it, I don't think it would be anything we'd miss. But um, type 2s, They've had some some valiant success in um, finding ways to cure themselves of it. To uh, I, I don't know the, the cure, f the definition of a cure for everybody is a little different. Um, I don't even think that um, cure, my definition of a cure is the same as the next person with type one diabetes. But what I do know is that um, I don't fear diabetes, and I never did. I don't even fear the complications. I got to admit, 20, almost 23 years into the game, they're the most annoying part about this disease. But um, looking for the um, euphoric control, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's like the tooth fairy of diabetes. There's no such thing as perfect control, and if there is, then cool. Maybe we should redefine what we perceive to be perfect control. It's very hard to obtain. <laughs> oh boy, is it hard to obtain? But um, yeah. Allie's voice, new year, new rule. It's my blog as much as it is yours. Um, bring it to the table, but back it up. Because <laughs> I, I love listening to, um, to good advice, and I definitely like to see where it comes from. I'm not saying just because studies haven't been done to prove it or disprove it means it's good or bad, but what I'm saying is you got to have something a little more to hang on to than... Um, just passionate words, because I'm just as guilty as that as anybody else, getting very passionate about what I truly feel and truly believe in. But, um, you know, a belief can materialize into reality for everybody, and that's that's what I hope it does. That's what I want Allie's Voice to be for you for 2008. It's um, sharing of ideas that hopefully will manifest into greatness for everybody um, for 2008. So I wish you the best. I um, hope to see you. If not here, you can um, look for me on 2diabetes.com. Um, have a good one, guys.